the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. Hey, guitar enthusiasts, I'm so excited. I have a really great beginner three chord song by Bob Dylan called Blowing in the Wind. We're going to go through the strumming pattern step by step and play along together. Let's get into the lesson. So the first thing you guys might notice is I got a capo here at the seventh fret of my guitar. It's gonna make the guitar sound very, very bright, okay? And you're gonna have to play all your chords relative to the capo. So the capo's acting like the nut up here at the top of the guitar. Now, you may have heard in the intro, we're only using three chords. We're gonna be using a C chord, a G chord, and a D chord. But we're not gonna be using the traditional ones over here. You can do that. I'm actually gonna be using my stuck like glue chords, the ones with the pinky in the third finger stuck at the bottom. The reason is because when I was listening to the recording, I heard a lot of really, really bright tones coming through. So I thought it would be better to use these chords. And I think some of you might find it's easier to transition between this G, C, and D chord. But whatever chord you decide to use, the strumming pattern I'm going to show you next won't matter, all right? So I'm going to show you two different breakdowns of this pattern. The first one's going to be one, two, three and four and. So it's gonna be down, 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 up, down, up. And it'll sound like this. I'm gonna start on the G chord. So we've got one, two, three and four and. Okay, down, 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 up, down, up. Now this song is a little peppier, so it's probably gonna be a little bit faster. It's probably gonna be more like So that's strumming option one, very, very basic and simple strumming pattern for beginners. But if you're looking for a little bit of a challenge and make this song sound a little bit better, you can add this extra spice in. And you probably heard me do it in the intro. I let the bass note of the chord ring. Let me show you first and then I'm gonna explain it. So it's the same rhythm. We're still doing one, two, three, and four, and same rhythm, except on that first beat, instead of doing a full down strum, we're just hitting down on the bass note of the chord and we're letting that ring out. So for the G chord, that would be the sixth string. For the C chord, that would be the fifth string. And for that D chord, it's gonna be the fourth string. So it'll be. So one more time, it's bass down, down, up, down, up, bass, down, down, up, down, up, bass, down, down, up, down, up. All right, so what I'm gonna do with you guys now is we're gonna just do a quick play along and we'll put the chords and stuff up on screen with you with the strumming pattern. But if you wanna follow along with my notes, you can always go over to my lesson notes on my website. All right, so I'm gonna count this in and if it's still a little bit too fast for you, don't forget you can change the settings cog down there, slow it down just a little bit. This way you can play along with me. All right, ready? We've got one, two, one, two, ready, and. How many roads must a man walk down before you call him a man? Yes, and how many seas must a white dove sail before she sleeps in the sand? Yes, and how many times must the cannonballs fly before they're forever banned? Well, the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing. If you guys loved this three chord Bob Dylan song, then you're gonna absolutely love my three chord Bad Moon Rising lesson over there. I go over a different strumming pattern that I know you guys are gonna enjoy. I'll see you in that lesson video.